Hello, this is Assistant Principal Danielle White, and I am here to welcome you to River Ridge Middle School, My School Online. This is the My School Online orientation presentation, and I will be reviewing with you the first day and everyday expectations. My school and traditional school have been structured to mirror each other. Both will be using the same curriculum at the same time, with the same teachers, with the same academic expectations. When students wish to return to the traditional setting, the intention to be is to be as seamless as possible. Instruction will include daily live lessons, independent lessons, small group lessons, and interactive lessons. This presentation is your orientation to my school. August 13th will be specifically to drive in and pick up the necessary items for your student to be successful. Anticipate parking for 15 minutes or less in a station while your necessary textbooks are gathered. If you requested a computer when you registered for my school, we will also be distributing them at this time. Before you attend, please visit the school website to RSVP for a time slot. Several of the time slots are filled, but there are still openings. Also, complete the know-before-you-go steps to expedite the process. Sixth grade students will need to purchase U.S. History workbooks and seventh grade students will need to purchase civics workbooks. You will need to bring a printed receipt or a screenshot of the paid fees to receive the books. Math and science textbooks are no additional charge. When you arrive, enter through the last driveway through the large archway into the middle school car line by turning left. Have your child's name displayed in the front window. Wait until a staff member assigns you to pull forward to a station. Stay in your car. We will bring the materials out to you. On the first day and every day, your child is required to log into My School through My Learning on their My Pasco Connect dashboard following their schedule. So how do they get there? We have included a handout with written directions and pictures and your welcome information you will receive at your orientation pickup on August 13th. First, go to the My Pasco Connect homepage at launchpadclasslink.com backslash DSBPC and click sign in. Second, sign in using the child's username, which is the student's lunch number, and the password, which is their silly password. If you do not know their silly password, you can log into My Student. Go to the link that says Child Info, and from there, click on the tab that says Classified. Your child's silly password will consist of a silly word and some numbers. Third, once you are into the My Pasco Connect dashboard, your student will see a bunch of icons. Look for the My Learning icon and select that. Fourth, within the My Learning icon, they will select the course they need to log into based on their schedule. Within each course, there are important tabs on the left. It will be important for your child to check the announcement tab each day when they first log in for Zoom information and other daily updates from their teachers. The modules tab is where all of the daily assignments are housed. The assignments are arranged in order on purpose within lessons and units. Please make sure your child is following this order and not skipping around. The grades tab should be checked frequently. This will be where graded work and teacher feedback on individual assignments is posted. Students have up to three attempts to get the highest score possible on each assignment. Keep in mind, teachers are grading and providing feedback on each attempt, so it is important to give each attempt their best effort and use the feedback provided to imp improve attempts. The Discussions and Inbox tabs are where students can post direct messages to the teacher if they have concerns or need help. Teachers will respond within 24 hours. Students must log into their assigned classes from their My Student schedule at the assigned bell schedule time daily. Attendance will be taken and monitored. With My School, attendance and participation are not flexible. We highly recommend that your student use a timer to ensure that they are ready to log in at the designated times each day. All students have a 50-minute block on their schedule labeled homeroom. In traditional school, we call this nighttime. The first 20 minutes of the period is used for academic intervention. So if your student needs extra assistance from a specific teacher, they can set an appointment with that teacher during this time. The remaining 30 minutes is their lunchtime. 
For this period only, students are not required to check in for daily attendance. Additional tips and reminders. As I have stated before, daily period by period attendance is required. This is not flexible scheduling. Use timers to keep up with the bell schedule. It is highly recommended for your child to set up a designated work area to avoid distractions, background noise that may disrupt them during lessons, and that is appropriate for their teachers and other students to view them in when working in small groups. Students should also be prepared to be in appropriate attire to be viewed by others. It is recommended to use a planner or calendar app to keep track of upcoming dates, assignments, and assessments. Make sure to check my learning announcements, inbox messages, grade feedback, and Office 365 email accounts daily. Teachers will be communicating with students and you, and you don't want to miss out on important information or updates. Stay connected through our school website and Facebook page regularly. Your child is still part of the royal family, and we want to keep them included. Reach out to teachers for support. A barrier to not being directly in the classroom is that teachers cannot see when your child is becoming overwhelmed, frustrated, or needs encouragement. Please reach out to teachers and encourage your child to self-advocate using the available electronic options. Grades from my learning are supposed to be posted in my student nightly. We highly encourage parents to create my student accounts and check them weekly to monitor their child's grades and attendance. You can set the preferences to send you notifications if grades or attendance concerns arise. Monitoring from home will be crucial to make sure students are staying on pace with academic expectations. Frequently asked questions. Are there fees assigned to my school courses? I see them when I log into my student's account. Yes, the fees are the same as traditional school as your child is still enrolled in the traditional setting, just attending remotely. Can I still play sports and participate in after-school activities? Yes, you are still part of the royal family. Keep up to date on our school's website and social media accounts with tryout and meeting information. Can I attend some traditional and some my school courses? Unfortunately, due to having to log in every period, there is not flexibility allowed in the schedule for this option. The student will need to attend one or the other option. There are students that do attend for only a period or two, but they are enrolled in the virtual home ed option and are not full-time River Ridge Middle School students. What do I do when I am ready for my child to return to the traditional school? Because we have mirrored schedules, 99% of the time this will be a quick and easy option. Parents will need to send their registrar, Deb Saris, and the grade level administrator an email notifying them in writing of the intent to return. Parents will need to wait to receive confirmation that the enrollment status has been changed to traditional and teachers have been notified. This will typically take 24 hours. There may however be cases when a safe seat in the current assigned class may not be available due to unforeseen circumstances. If that occurs, the parent will be notified that either a change of schedule will be necessary to accommodate the return or the return may be delayed. This will be addressed on a case-by-case -case basis and should be very limited. What if my student is absent or needs to miss a day of my school? The Student Code of Conduct absence procedures will apply to my school. Just like in traditional school, an excused note in writing will need to be submitted to the school so that we may update their attendance records. You may submit this electronically through our website at rrms.pasco.k12.fl.us and there is a link for absence notifications at the bottom of the page. What if there is a technology issue while my student is in my school? First, reach out to the teacher. It may be an issue that all students are having, a link that has gone bad or an assignment that cannot be downloaded. Teachers will communicate the workaround plan. If you have individual technology issues, also communicate this to the teacher. We understand that sometimes technology is not our best friend and internet connections are not reliable. If there is an issue, communicate with the teacher to make an arrangement to submit work in an alternate format if needed. 
If you need a computer during my school, we do have a limited supply at the school to sign out. Communicate with your teacher if you did not request one when you registered, and they will communicate with administration to make arrangements with the family for a timely pickup. What if my child needs additional help? Again, reach out to the teacher and encourage your child to self-advocate and send their own messages asking for assistance or clarification. The teachers are here to help and are happy to respond, but a unique challenge to distance learning is that they cannot tell when your child may need support without communication from you or your child. So this wraps up our orientation to River Ridge Middle School orientation for My School Online First Day and Every Day Expectations. As always, we encourage you to stay connected with us through all of our social media outlets. We wish you luck on your first day of school. Don't hesitate to reach out if we can be of any assistance. We are in this together.